For most of history, Jupiter was just a colorful blur in science books, a distant gas giant, massive, mysterious, untouchable. But that's not the case anymore. Right now, we are seeing Jupiter like never before, in sharp, stunning, impossible to believe detail. Real photographs, real storms, real mysteries. And no, this isn't some Hollywood CGI. These are raw images many taken just weeks ago by NASA's Juno spacecraft and enhanced by space telescopes like Hubble and the James Webb. Even citizen scientists are taking raw data from NASA and turning it into jaw-dropping art that looks more like fantasy than physics. But here's the twist. The closer we look, the weirder it gets. Jupiter's most iconic features are changing. Its clouds are misbehaving. Its legendary great red spot is doing something scientists didn't see coming. And deep within its layers, there are signs of something strange, something hiding at its core. So what exactly is going on inside the biggest planet in our solar system? Let's dive in. The blurry bands of brown and red that once defined Jupiter, they're gone. Now we're seeing oceans of deep blue, swirling pinks, pale whites, and shadowy grays. Some of it looks like marble. Other parts look like waves frozen mid-crash, but it's all real. Most of this comes from JunoCam, a camera that, believe it or not, wasn't even designed for serious science. It was just there to take nice pictures for the public. But something unexpected happened. People all over the world, artists, coders, scientists, began downloading Juno's raw image data. And what they created from it? It's nothing short of planetary artwork. One image shows a cyclone the size of Earth spinning like a monstrous hurricane. Another shows smaller storms circling each other like petals around a flower. Some photos are so detailed, you can see shadows from cloud layers, actual depth on a planet, made almost entirely of gas. And they're not one-off moments. Juno has been flying by Jupiter since 2016, but with each pass, the images are getting sharper. Why? Because Juno's orbit is elliptical, and over time, it's dipping lower and lower with each flyby. That means better resolution, richer colors, and lighting angles so precise you can see sunlight skim the tops of clouds like sunsets on a planet where it rains ammonia. But here's where it gets strange. New images reveal more than just beauty, they show motion, chaos, and constant change. The great red spot Jupiter's most iconic feature is shrinking, and not slowly. It's losing width, but oddly, it's getting taller. Scientists say it's like a storm turning into a vertical skyscraper, and that doesn't make sense yet. Elsewhere, entire weather systems are forming and vanishing within days. Jet streams, previously invisible, are now slicing through cloud layers like cosmic scars. Strange bright spots appear in unexpected places. Near the poles, there are tornado-like vortexes twisting in formation, locked into bizarre polygonal patterns. And floating high above the clouds, there's a thin layer of haze that changes color depending on the light. It's like Jupiter is wearing a mask one that's constantly shifting. And with every image, that mask slips just a little more. Juno's recent passes weren't accidents. They were precision dives timed to skim just a few thousand kilometers above Jupiter's clouds. That's practically brushing the edge of a planet made of storms. And what it saw? It's like something out of science fiction. Let's talk about the Great Red Spot again. We've known it's been raging for over 300 years, maybe more. But the new images show it's more than a storm. It's a layered beast, a storm within a storm, spinning within deeper currents, almost like it's tethered below the clouds. Juno caught details we've never seen, swirling ridges, twisting vortices, even smaller clouds being devoured by the main system like watching a slow blink of a monstrous eye. At Jupiter's North Pole, it gets even more alien. Storms there don't align in stripes. They bunch together six, seven, even eight of them orbiting a central vortex like petals on a flower. These are called circumpolar cyclones, and they're not random. They lock into place, spinning in formation for years. And between these giant formations, deep blue voids seemingly calm areas that may actually conceal faster, denser flows beneath. No other planet in the solar system has anything like this. During one pass, Juno even captured new high-altitude jet streams, atmospheric bullets, cutting through Jupiter's bands at lightning speeds. These weren't visible before. Now, they're reshaping our entire understanding of Jupiter's upper atmosphere. 
And the craziest part? Juno wasn't supposed to survive this long. It wasn't built for deep imaging. Yet here it is years later, still diving, still capturing, still surprising. Just when you think Jupiter can't get stranger, one of its moons jumps in and steals the spotlight. Io isn't like our moon. It's alive not with plants or oceans, but with volcanoes. Hundreds of them. Some erupt constantly. And now, thanks to Juno's strategic flybys, we're finally seeing them up close. Massive plumes shoot straight into space. Lava lakes glow along the surface. Vast regions are scorched and blackened by violent eruptions. In one haunting image, you can actually see a volcano spewing ash hundreds of kilometers high backlit by the sun as it erupts over Io's horizon. Why all the chaos? Jupiter. Its gravity tugs and twists Io so violently. It literally needs the moon's interior like dough. That friction melts rock, powers the eruptions, and keeps the chaos going. Io is the most volcanically active object in the solar system. And its eruptions don't just affect the moon, they're feeding Jupiter's radiation belts. Sulfur and plasma from Io's surface are pulled into Jupiter's magnetic field, creating glowing rings of charged particles, an entire electromagnetic system powered by a moon's fury. And it goes both ways. Juno's sensors have picked up particle flows and magnetic shifts around Io that seem to respond to volcanic activity. Jupiter and Io are locked in a violent cycle. Eruptions fueling storms, gravity fueling eruptions. It's not just geology, it's a planetary feedback loop, and it might be the key to understanding Jupiter's entire system. As Juno captures close-up chaos, something extraordinary is happening from a distance too. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful ever built, is now pointed at Jupiter. And the images it's sending back? They're like X-rays for the planet's soul. Unlike Juno's visible light portraits, James Webb operates in infrared. That means it sees heat, not just light, and that changes everything. Suddenly, the planet's invisible energy becomes visible. You can see thermal signatures streaking across the equator, lightning flashes inside thunderclouds, and even the glow of auroras at the poles brighter than any seen on Earth. One web image captured a ring of high-altitude haze swirling above Jupiter's cloud tops, a sign that the atmosphere might be interacting with solar radiation in a far more complex way than we thought. Even more incredible, James Webb is catching storms before they become visible to human eyes. That means we're seeing Jupiter predictively as if it's revealing its mood swings before the clouds even form. Hubble, working in tandem with Webb, provides visible light confirmation. It catches the dramatic colors and shifting bands the changes in real time. Together, they give us a dual view, one eye on the surface, the other peering beneath. And here's where the theories start to form. Jupiter has no solid surface, it's gas all the way down, right? Not exactly. New data from Juno's gravity sensors and Webb's deep scans are hinting at something strange, something dense and fuzzy lurking at Jupiter's core. It's not a metal ball or a rocky planet like Earth's core. It's what scientists are calling a diluted core. Imagine heavy elements, metals, rock, possibly ice floating in a deep, diffuse soup surrounded by liquid metallic hydrogen. This wasn't the model we had before. It raises massive questions. Was Jupiter formed differently than we thought? Did it absorb other planets in its youth? Could it have once had a solid core that got shredded by ancient collisions? One theory suggests Jupiter might have had a planetary sibling, a proto-world that crashed into it billions of years ago. If true, it means Jupiter's core may be the remnants of an ancient planetary murder. This diluted core also helps explain why the planet's gravity behaves so strangely. It's not uniform. And that impacts everything from storm formation to radiation belts. We're not just dealing with a gas giant. We're dealing with a hybrid, a planetary chimera that defies the rules we thought applied to planets. With all this new data, scientists are beginning to ask deeper and weirder questions. Why are Jupiter's storms so organized? How do they lock into place for centuries without falling apart? Why does its magnetic field shift so unpredictably, as if reacting to something beneath the clouds? There's even been speculation that Jupiter might hide an inner engine, a self-sustaining mechanism powered by its rotation, gravity, and chaotic chemistry. Not a machine, but a natural generator of motion and energy that behaves unlike anything else in the solar system. Others suggest its bizarre weather systems might be tied to ancient remnants, trapped heat from formation, or even radioactive elements drifting within the core. 
And then there's the wildest speculation that Jupiter might play a larger role in the solar system's stability than we ever realized. Some physicists have suggested that Jupiter doesn't just orbit the sun, it shapes the orbits of everything else. That its gravity, storms, and magnetic field help prevent the solar system from falling into chaotic drift. If that's true, then Jupiter isn't just a planet. It's a guardian, a stabilizer, and maybe even the reason life on Earth had the chance to exist at all. Juno's mission is nearing its final phase. By 2025, it will likely plunge into Jupiter's atmosphere on purpose to avoid contaminating the moons. It'll be destroyed, crushed, and incinerated in the very world it's been observing for nearly a decade. But before that happens, Juno has one last task, more close passes of Io and other Jovian moons, a final dive across the planet's magnetic tail, and a full-spectrum scan of the planet's upper and lower atmosphere. NASA hopes it will finally give answers or at least better questions about the planet's internal dynamics. But even now, there are whispers in the scientific community that Jupiter may still be holding back one last surprise. Some theorists think there may be an undiscovered moon, something small but dense, hiding in the planet's shadow or nestled in its chaotic ring system. Others believe Jupiter may hold organic molecules, precursors, to life trapped in high-pressure storms deep within its atmosphere. Whatever the truth is, one thing is certain. Jupiter is no longer just a distant blur in a telescope. It's alive, active, and endlessly mysterious. So the next time you glance up at the night sky, remember, that tiny dot near the moon? It's not just a planet. It's a swirling colossus reshaping our understanding of planetary science with every passing day. And as NASA's probes dive deeper and telescopes peel back its layers, one haunting question remains. What haven't we seen yet?